Well, how do you account for the tremendous improvement in your skating, Peggy? Well, I worked hard this year. You sure must have worked hard. You don't even stand out of breath. I am. <laughs> Here's a young girl you're going to hear a lot more about. Peggy Fleming of California. Thank you. Every so often, there's an athlete who changes their sport. Someone who redefines the rules and breaks the records. Back then, that person was Peggy Fleming. Today, it's Michelle Kwan. Michelle is the very definition of a champion. Ten years after winning her first world championship, she's still the queen of the ice. In the sport of figure skating, years of practice culminate into a few minutes. Once a skater steps onto the ice, she's alone. She has one shot to do what she's worked her whole life to achieve. In skating, there are no timeouts, no second chances. To be the best in the world, a skater must withstand the pressure, survive the stress, and triumph when it counts the most. Representing the United States, Michelle Kwan. Each year, a lifetime of sacrifice comes down to one program. If Michelle could win her fifth world title, she would join an elite group. Dick Button, Carol Heiss Jenkins, Irma Zabo, each have won five world titles. This program would guarantee Michelle a place in history. And this young woman has more heart, more resilience, and has touched more people than any other skater in the world. By 22 years old, most skaters are past their prime, but Michelle stood on top, not yet ready to retire. The champion within her continued to push her limits. I love competing. I love the feeling that I get when I step out onto the ice. Even just the pressure of putting it on the line. Four times a world champion, Michelle has set the precedent, but even the best falter. She has lost her crown three times, most recently in 2002 to longtime rival Irina Slutskaya. But a true champion perseveres. Michelle has regained her title twice. In 2003, she planned her third comeback. I think Michelle Kwan is very comfortable in the position of being the champion, being in the spotlight. She loves the process, she loves the intensity of it, she loves to push herself. Michelle is one of the most decorated skaters in history. She has proved she's the best. This year she skated for herself, the sign of a true champion, one whose actions are driven by the heart. Don't do it for the titles. Do it for the love of the sport. Do it for yourself. Do it for, you know, testing yourself. And Michelle has definitely taught us that. She looks so comfortable and calm out there. I think she is in a real good place right now. I'm an intense skater. I like to perform my best at the most important time. I zone in onto you know, getting as close, as perfect as I can. Her free skate was packed with six triple jumps intricate choreography and inventive spins but it was her passion that shined through every element what a nice solid outflowing edge a straight line not a single bobble on that landing that's perfect consistency is the mark of a champion michelle makes the impossible look easy she's adapted under every circumstance consistency is her secret weapon i think what michelle kwan's been able to do is sustain excellence over the course of a long time and not many athletes can do that michelle has brought elegance confidence competitive spirit this sport doesn't realize how lucky it is to have had her in its world wonderful <laughs> that, control, that was the last move it was extraordinary <laughs> With one minute left in her free skate, she just needed to finish clean. Michelle was on the brink of her fifth world title and history. 
look at the face. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She is loving what she's doing right now. This is where she belongs. When I go out there and skate and nail it, and I know that I nailed it, it's kind of like a yeah feeling. The arena was just shaking, and here I am in the middle of the ice. It takes my breath away. It really does. You can never create that moment, that feeling that you get. You feel all your hard work has paid off.